Hello everyone, I am Prashant Kumar studying at Sri Venkateswara College. Today I am going to present you about the topic photosynthesis, photovoltaic cells and bionic leaf. So now having a look through the table of contents where we are going to discuss about photosynthesis, photovoltaic cells and bionic leaf. How important is photosynthesis and the reactions performed by photosynthesis, light dependent, light independent, types of photovoltaic cells working of bionic leaf and its benefits and applications, advancements in leaf technology. Introduction, where we'll be exploring one of the most fascinating processes in the natural world, how plants convert sunlight into energy. But photosynthesis is more than just a scientific curiosity. It is essential for life on earth as we know. Think about it, without it, there would be no oxygen for us to breathe, no food for us to eat, and no energy for us to power our homes and cars. As we all know, traditional sources of energy such as fossil fuels are rapidly depleting and causing irreversible damage to our environment. So it's time to shift our focus to alternative sources of energy that are not only renewable but also environmental friendly. So this photosynthesis, photovoltaic cells and bionic leaf come in as a cutting edge technologies that have potential to revolutionize the way we produce and consume energy and pave the way for a brighter, cleaner future. Now let us discuss about what is photosynthesis. It is a process by which plants and algae and some bacteria convert light energy into chemical energy. This chemical energy is stored in the form of glucose which is used by the organism for the energy and growth. This process of photosynthesis can be broken down into two stages, light dependent and light independent. It also produces some of the glucose so which the glucose can be used by the plants as an energy source or stored for later use. What is photovoltaic cells? These are also known as solar cells. These are the devices that convert sunlight into electricity. They are made up of thin layers of semiconductor materials such as silicon that absorb photons from sunlight and release electrons which can be harnessed to create an electrical current. These cells are building blocks of solar panels which can be used to power homes, business and even entire communities. This has come long away in recent years which is now more efficient and affordable than ever before. So what is bionic leaf? A bionic leaf is a revolutionary technology that combines power of photosynthesis and photovoltaic cells so as to produce energy. It was first developed by scientists at Harvard University in 2016 and it has been hailed a potential solution to our energy crisis. The process of bionic leaf starts with photosynthesis where catalyst splits water molecules into oxygen and hydrogen ions. These hydrogen ions are then used by bacterium so as to produce biomass which can be converted into fuel or other useful chemicals. Meanwhile, the oxygen is released back into the atmosphere. Photovoltaic cells are used to capture the sunlight needed for photosynthesis and convert it into the electricity which powers entire processes. The result is highly efficient system that can produce fuel and reduce carbon emissions at the same time. So now discussing about the importance and applications of photosynthesis where it is a vital process that sustains life on earth. It also plays a crucial role in regulating the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere which helps to migrate the effects of climate change. Photosynthesis is not only crucial for survival of plants but is also has a practical applications in agriculture and medicine. In agriculture, photosynthesis is used to in increase crop yields by providing plants with necessary energy to grow. This process helps farmers produce more food so as to feed a growing population. In medicine, photosynthesis is being explored as a way to create new treatments for diseases such as cancers. And moving on to the next slide, where we have the two reactions, light dependent and light independent. Light dependent, the process begins with absorption of light by photosystem, which causes electrons to become more excited and an electron transport chain. As the electrons move down the chain, they release energy that is used to pump hydrogen ions into the thylakoid space. During light dependent reaction of photosynthesis, light energy is absorbed by pigments in thylakoid membranes of the chloroplast. The energy is used to generate ATP and NADPH, which are then used in the light independent reactions. This creates a proton gradient that is generate NAP, 
through chemiosis at the same time photosystem 1 absorbs light and uses energy to produce NADPH light independent reaction during this process carbon dioxide is fixed into organic molecules using energy and reducing power from light independent reactions so the light independent reactions of photosynthesis also known as kelvin cycle takes place in the stroma of the chloroplast so the resulting products are used to synthesize glucose which can then be used for the plant so as to store for later use so what are the benefits and types of photovoltaic cells one of the main benefits of photovoltaic cells is their renewable and sustainable nature unlike traditional fossil fuels which are finite resources that eventually will run out sunlight is abundant and will continue to be available for billions of years this means that photovoltaic cells offer a long term solution to our energy needs without contributing a climate change or other environmental problems additionally in areas where power outages are common photovoltaic cells can provide a reliable source of backup power to keep our home or business running smoothly and types of photovoltaic cells are first polycrystalline cells are made from multiple silicon crystals and have a speckled appearance they are less efficient than monocrystalline but are more affordable and easier to manufacture so thin film cells are made from variety of materials including amorphous silicon cadmium telluride and copper indium gallium selenide so they are the least efficient type of photovoltaic cells but are also the most flexible and lightweight making them ideal for portable devices moving on to the next slide where we have applications of photovoltaic cells where they provide a wide range of applications from powering homes and business with solar panels so as to provide energy for portable devices like calculators and phone chargers on real world example of photovoltaic cell application is the solar impulse 2 a solar powered airplane that completed a round the world flight using photovoltaic cells for power another example is the use of photovoltaic cells in remote locations where traditional power sources are not available or practical now we have the bionic leaf working so this bionic leaf works by combining photosynthesis and photovoltaic cells so as to produce energy in this process the photovoltaic cells capture sunlight and convert it into an electricity which is then used to power the chemical reactions of photosynthesis this allows the bionic leaf to generate fuel from sunlight and carbon dioxide in a highly efficient way so the fuel produced by the bionic leaf can be used for variety of purposes including powering vehicles generating electricity the bionic leaf has the potential to provide a sustainable source of energy that is both clean and renewable making it an exciting development in the field of energy production moving on to the next slide where we have benefits and applications of bionic leaf the bionic leaf offers several advantages over traditional energy sources first foremost it is incredibly efficient which has the ability to convert sunlight into fuel at an unprecedented rate this means that it has the potential to provide virtually limitless source of clean energy in addition its efficiency the bionic leaf is also highly sustainable and it is also game changer a bionic leaf has the potential to revolutionize agriculture by providing a sustainable source of fertilizer by producing ammonia from nitrogen in the air it can be used to fertilize crops without need for harmful chemicals this not only benefits the environment but also helps the farmers to save money on expensive fertilizers it is also used in space exploration so what are the advanced advancements in bionic leaf technology so the future of bionic leaf is incredibly promising scientists are exploring ways to scale up the technology and make it most cost effective so which could revolutionize the field of energy production with increasing demand for sustainable energy sources bionic leaf has the potential to to play a major role in meeting our energy needs in addition to its potential as a energy source bionic leaf could also have applications in other fields such as agriculture space exploration for example it could be used to produce food in harsh environments where traditional agriculture is not feasible and we are only beginning to scratch the surface of what bionic leaf can do and moving to the last the conclusion part where we are going to wrap up this presentation and with the final thought that photosynthesis not only sustains life on earth but also remains of the beauty and complexity of nature so this intricate between the sunlight water carbon dioxide takes place within every leaf so is a truly remarkable feat of biological engineering 
so let us appreciate the wonder of photosynthesis and natural world around us as we move forward into the future it is clear that the photovoltaic cells will play an increasingly important role in addressing climate change and promoting sustainability so let us continue to learn innovate and work towards a brighter and more sustainable future for all thank you guys for listening to the video